hey what's up guys welcome to a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys this video is majorly for beginners yeah so i'm just going to be showing you guys how to do basic color grading to an image you know like you don't most people feel like oh color grading you know you have to like do this and that but you can just um do a very very simple color grading to start with and over time you can build up on that so you don't um over manipulate your image because i see a lot of beginner photographers who are just like they just get overly excited and they just end up doing too much to an image sometimes less is more yeah less is more so that's what we're going to be doing in this video so in today's video i'm just going to be color grading in camera raw just camera raw right so the first thing we're just going to do right now is We'll come to our basic right and here we have white balance exposure contrast so we're just going to play with a few of the sliders you know so um, one of the first things i always play with is my contrast so for this particular image i'm going to add a little bit of contrast i would say plus eight is fine um and the highlights i'm going to bring down the highlights a bit let's see you know so we can have more details in the sky okay i think this is good let's see the before and after before after as you can see there's more um of the clouds showing in the sky it's not like blown out like when it was before right okay so now let's um look at our shadows okay so for this i'm also going to raise the shadows just a bit because i feel like um, a lot of these places are just like too too dark so I'm just going to raise the shadow a bit just to brighten up the image okay so let's see I think plus 20 is good right so you know just play around with the sliders but try not to do too much okay so I'm going to do the same thing for my whites I'm going to do minus 15 and for my blacks I'm going to do plus five just to bring in a little bit more of that into the picture okay and now yeah we're going to just enhance the colors a bit more and that's where we're going to be working with our vibrance and saturation okay so for my vibrance I'm going to do plus 15 for this particular image right okay and for my saturation let's do plus 10 okay so let's look at the before before after before after as you guys can see this is like way better than the picture i got straight out of camera okay and when i get done so now we're going to go to like the major color grading okay and that's where we're going to come to obviously he's already written there color grading okay color grading here yeah. and now for my shadows i like to start with my shadows i am going to yeah okay i'm going to come to my shadows over here all right and i'm just going to drag this i think i would like my shadows to be on the warmer side so i'm just going to drag this as you guys can see when you drag it you see like the image keeps changing 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 so i want to have like a warm feel to this image so i'm going to be somewhere around here all right okay i think okay let's just take it a little bit more okay i think this is good before after so as you can see that brings more of that warmer tone to the shadows right and now we're going to do the mid tones okay so i'm just going to do the same thing again this time i want to bring a little bit of 
um, like a cool kind of feel to the mid tones. All right. So I'm going to be here on the side, which is where you have the blues. And let's see. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. I think this is good, right? So before, after. And now, as you can see, because of the mid tones in the blues, you get more of um, the blue colors of the sky, right? And lastly, we're going to come to the highlights okay and for the highlights i think i'm also going to go towards the blue tones because of the sky right and so i'm going to drag it over here okay all right so now i feel like it's a little too blue so i'm going to come back to my mid tones and i'm just going to adjust this a bit okay i think i like this before after before after and that's just it see this is just a really, really simple color grade. And all I did in the color grading was just work on my mid tones, my shadows and my highlights, right? And once you've done um, something like this and you want to probably use the same um, settings for another image, you can easily just copy the settings, right? Come to this drop down menu. And all I'm going to do is copy edit settings, okay? And here I have another picture that I would also like to use that same edit on, right? And all I'm going to do now is come back to the drop down menu and I'm going to paste edit settings. Boom. And there you have it. And so now the um, settings I just used on this image has just been automatically pasted on this one. So for this image now, this is the before, after before after and there you have it guys you know i hope this um tutorial has helped someone to see that you don't have to like go all out you know with your color grading you know if you are a beginner you can just start you know with this less is more like i said and over time in photoshop you can start to work with multiple layers where you like um single out a particular Part of the picture that you like to color grade yeah and over time i'm also going to be doing more um color grading videos for you guys i'm sorry i've not been uploading i haven't uploaded in two months you know um a lot has been going on yeah but i'm going to try to upload more videos right now and you guys can also check my um, digital store you know i have um some lots and i have a free melanin skin tone lots you can download and i have some other digital products you can buy you know it will help support the channel so please do subscribe um drop a comment down below on something you'd like me to do next and i'll see you guys in the next one